Hello everyone, this is Curtis Pike and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to do a freeze frame, but this is going to be a, we're going to freeze the frame, but instead of having it stop, it's going to stop and then the footage is going to restart. So basically we're going to take a frame, we're going to freeze it in the middle of a clip and then we'll let it restart after that. Uh, let me just grab some footage here. I'll grab this of a lady in a biohazard lab. Uh, let's say she's looking in the microscope and then she goes back. So let's say we want to stop right before she's done. We want this image to be a freeze frame because she's looking in the microscope and she saw something. Okay, so to do that, put your playhead over where you want it to be. Right click on that clip and now go up to insert frame hold segment. Here we go. Watch what this does. This is added in this to the clip. This is a still shot of where the playhead was, which is exactly what we wanted, and it is added in. And this is what, like a two, two, it's like two seconds long or something like that, not quite two seconds long. Now, so let's take a look at what we have now. She's in her microphone, the microscope, pardon me, she sees it, we freeze the frame, and then it resumes. Perfect. Now, this is a default presetting, so if you want this to be shorter or longer, Really, really simple. You can either just drag and drop like this and then just move it in. Or alternatively, you can take the Ripple Edit tool and change it as you see fit. So if you want it to be longer, this will force the frame out longer and this will make a shorter, a longer still shot. If you want it to be a very short still shot, like let's say like this, uh, you can go ahead and reduce it with the Ripple Edit tool. And you just have to press B for that. So let's see what this looks like. There she is. Frame frozen, and then it starts again. This is all just using stock footage. There's nothing too very complicated to this, guys, but a lot of people use these in short films, and if this is something that's interesting to you, give it a thumbs up, and I'll be back more with some more tutorials shortly. Cheers. Bye-bye.